Valentine. We're about a minute away from 6 a.m. and uh, it's Thursday. We're getting close. We it's almost the end of the weekend. We that means Thanksgiving is one week away? It is. It is. Yes, yes. <laughs> Scary. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, what, what's your favorite uh, Thanksgiving uh, dish? Stuffing. I love stuffing. Yeah. <laughs> That's mine. I love it. Definitely. I love it. Load the plate up with stuffing. I will be very, very happy. Yes, a little bit of gravy. Yes. Perfect. Uh, I also like uh, yams. You ever oh. have yams? Mm -hmm. Delicious. <laughs> Let's take a look outside. Let's get you ready for your Thursday. Still a week away from Thanksgiving. You can get that stuffing or whatever ready here very soon or at least have the plans for it. We do have some hampered visibility. We have a dense fog advisory for Walla Walla, Pendleton areas. Pendleton, two miles of visibility or 20% visibility. We're still at a quarter of a mile of visibility for Walla Walla, zero visibility for Prosser. So we are looking at some hampered areas, 70% visibility in the Tri-Cities, not too bad, and still holding tough uh, for Ellensburg and Yakima. We're also very chilly this morning. You might have some frost on your car. We're right above the freezing level for the Blues. Other than that, below it, all the way down to 22 right now for Ellensburg, my goodness. All right, let's take a look at what we can expect today. We'll see some sunshine today for Yakima. Highs are gonna be in the mid to upper 40s. Highs will be in the lower 40s for the Tri-Cities. Maybe dealing with a little fog this morning, but we'll see some sunshine and plenty of fog expected for Walla Walla. And this fog will be sticking with us at least AM wise through Saturday. So get ready for that. Ample sunshine, light winds. I'll have all of that. My first alert weather forecast coming up in about 10 minutes. We're continuing our coverage about parents' concerns on the handling of bullying complaints in the West Valley School District. Earlier this month, Superintendent Peter Finch emphasized the importance of their positive behavioral interventions and supports, or PBIS, program as part of their anti-bullying efforts. Tuesday was the first regular board meeting since our initial reporting, and middle school staff and students spent a lot of time talking about the PBIS program and about how incentivizing positive behavior helps students. But since our initial report, two sitting board members lost the election and now three out of five board members will be new next year. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us one of the outgoing board members spoke up about what he called a bullying culture in the district. Mike Meyer didn't run for re-election this year, and he's coming up on the end of his term. But at last night's school board meeting, he spoke out, responding to the concerns brought up once again by the mom of a 13-year-old boy who's faced death threats and repeated bullying at the West Valley Innovation Center. The superintendent told me at the beginning of the month that that case had been resolved. But the mom told me it took over a year for the district to address the bullying, and while that formal complaint has been resolved, she already told the district at that first meeting back in September that it wasn't over. To ensure that there are no further disconnects and I am in no way unclear, these issues are very much not resolved because these matters have still not been addressed by West Valley School District. She says after they got a restraining order against the first student and he was forced to change schools, one of the boy's friends started harassing her son, which she reported at the beginning of the year to no effect. Every single one of you board members and you, Dr. Finch, has failed my child. Superintendent Finch later responded saying, My understanding was that the specific case, the issue was resolved. I've heard this evening's issue is not resolved. And so we will follow up on the specific case. But outgoing school board member, Mike Meyer called for the district to do more. I've tooted that horn or this one many times about the bullying culture yep. in this district. And it's been well known for since I went here way back. It's so ingrained in our culture out here that it's really tough to make a change. Meyer says part of the problem is their hands are tied when it comes to taking bullying cases into the juvenile justice system because of legislative changes in recent years. They've minimized the offenses to the point that prosecutors don't want to handle them. But when it comes to this specific case... I'm very sorry that we failed you. Another board member asked the mom if she'd be willing to come back again in about three months and share a progress report on what the district had done in that time, and she agreed. 
Now, in the meantime, I'll be reaching out to those incoming school board members to see what their plans are when it comes to addressing bullying. Reporting from the Ackerman Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. This is a follow-up to a series of stories we've done on the West Valley School District's response to bullying concerns. You can find our previous coverage on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. A bus on its way from Yakima to Seattle burst into flames on I-90. This video was recorded Tuesday afternoon where a charter bus with 17 people from Yakima caught fire near Snoqualmie Pass. All of the passengers escaped safely, even managing to get off the bus with their luggage in hand before the entire bus caught fire, leaving a, sh leaving a burnt, melted shell behind. No word yet on what caused the fire. KITCOM, also known as Kittitas County 911, says its outdated equipment could make responding to an emergency, uh, emergency difficult in parts of the county. Officials say the biggest challenge they're facing is radio signal dead zones. They say in areas like the Yakima River recreation spots, ski areas, rural schools and homes, even in new developments, have these radio dead zones and that affects response time and rescue operations. With some of their equipment being more than 30 years old, KITCOM and the Kittitas County Board of Commissioners are looking to find a, sustain a sustainable funding solution. They're looking for the public to bring their input at a future meeting. We have more information on this at applevalleynewsnow.com. Dozens of families in East Sela living near the Yakima Training Center are still dealing with high levels of forever chemicals. But learn more about a short-term solution at an open house yesterday. Long-term cleanup is expected to take decades, but point-of-entry treatment systems are now being installed to filter out the PFAS and allow residents to use water from their taps again. So far, 72 homes have qualified to receive free filters after testing for PFAS above the EPA Lifetime Health Advisory of 70 parts per trillion. Now the EPA's newly proposed National Drinking Water Standard says anything over just 4 parts per trillion is unhealthy. But until the new standard is finalized, the Army is staying with the 70 parts per trillion limit. We'll follow any, the, any national drinking water standard uh, that's set by the EPA, and we expect uh, that standard to, uh, to change uh, this year or early next year. The Army says uh, they will be holding another open house later this winter. State officials estimate that the number of people in Washington without permanent housing rose between 2022 and 2023. Now they're getting ready to gather data for 2024. The point in time count happens once every year in January. Benton County will be holding this year's count on January 25th. The Department of Human Services and Volunteers will go out into the community to get a physical count of how many people are experiencing homelessness. The system does have its flaws, but it does give officials some measurable data and to see whether or not social programs are effective. For example, outside King County, the state counted 5,224 people without shelter in Washington last year, a bit lower than the count in 2020 right before the pandemic began. In 2023, that number went up to 6,316. Last January, the point in time count revealed 37 people living in Benton County without shelter and 89 people experiencing homelessness but able to find a space in an emergency shelter or transitional housing. Two Washington Congress members are calling the privatized housing at Fairchild Air Force Base near Spokane unfit for service members and their families. Senator Patty Murray and Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers say the housing has mold cracks in the infrastructure and roofs in need of replacement. In a letter to the company responsible for maintaining the homes, they say our service members and their families sacrifice so much for our country and we need to ensure that they have access to dependable housing. Jason Valentine returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. We have first light on our Thursday morning. We have fog in places, frosty conditions in other places. Let me get you ready for your Thursday. I'll have a look at your weekend as well. That's coming up in my first alert weather forecast. Plus, the first ever Las Vegas Grand Prix kicked off last night with Formula One officials expecting it to bring over a billion dollars to the local economy.
When it comes to your loved ones, you want the best care possible. Being home surrounded by the things you love is vital for quality of life. That's where affordable at-home care comes in. We offer personalized home care plans to fit your specific needs. And for all new customers, your first hour is always free. Our experienced, loving, and caring staff is dedicated to serving you. Call us today for a free consultation. At Affordable in Home Care, we do more than just visit. This may look like a holiday shopping showdown, but it's a Nissan sales event to add. Good thing my Rogue has intelligent all-wheel drive. So does my Altima. Now get 2.9% APR financing for 60 months on Rogue, or get a low $3.99 per month lease on Frontier. Better hurry, these offers won't be back in stock. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Whether you celebrate holiday road trips in a Cadillac CT5, promising festive joy around every corner, or unexpected cheer in a Cadillac CT4, this holiday season, Cadillac is celebrating you. Get 2.9% APR plus 500 purchase allowance on most 2024 Cadillac CT4 and CT5 models. Visit your Yakima and Tri-Cities Cadillac dealer today. Okay, thanks for visiting. Bye, Alice. Eh, I'm stuck. Not funny anymore. <laughs> yes, it is. Wait, guys, the Mesozoic times are boring and have zero rat attractions. Triple play is fun. I want to stay here. Of course you can stay. Oh, fantastic. We won't regret this. Triple play has fun attractions for everyone, like bowling, Raptor Reef Indoor Water Park, and a brand new zip line ride, all attached to a cozy hotel. She's on the local already. Marketers are the worst. Sleep Shop and Furniture has expanded. To celebrate, all living room furniture is up to 35% off. A queen-size gel mattress for only $399, on hand with immediate delivery. Up to 18 months, same as cash, and no credit financing available. Quality furniture, affordable prices. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Wendemere Group One. Welcome back, everyone. Las Vegas is counting down to a race this weekend that apparently not even Rapid Roy the stock car boy can save. It apparently seemed like a Formula 4 success, a Formula 1 race in Sin City, but it looks like it's an idea that has already run out of gas. Here's ABC's Lionel Luis. Overnight, a star-studded event on the Las Vegas Strip. Driving home tonight, catching the red lights. A ceremony kicking off the first ever Las Vegas Grand Prix after Formula One transformed the city into a racetrack. Drivers will hit speeds topping 200 miles per hour, weaving past the Venetian on the left, Caesars Palace, and then the Bellagio. Satellite images show the track lit up, looping around the MSG sphere and down the strip. Formula One CEO hoping the events and race on Saturday will accelerate the local economy by some $1.7 billion, topping expectations for when the Super Bowl comes to town. But not everyone is cheering. Many locals and tourists are frustrated with the course blocking some access to the strip. The famous fountain at the Bellagio is blocked by the grandstands. Part of the draw is being able to see those landmarks. And ticket prices, which approached $1,700, are set to be falling fast. Some hotels also slashing room rates. But one hospital in Vegas is getting into the racing spirit, dressing these newborns in Formula One gear. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York. Earlier this week, Formula One apologized for the months of road work that was needed to prepare the strip for the race. Coming up, a doctor from the University of Washington is calling on lawmakers to adopt a permanent standard time and do away with daylight savings time. And Jason Valentine will return with a look at your first alert weather forecast. When you or your loved one has been seriously injured, you want the best law firm on your side. Abeta Nelson Injury Law is the most highly awarded and experienced personal injury firm in Central Washington. Our office has secured the most million dollar car crash recoveries in Central Washington. You can trust us to have your back. 
The time for bringing your claim is limited, so don't wait. Call us today for a no-obligation consultation. Abeta Nelson, we take your injury personally. At U.S. Cellular, anyone can get any phone free. So give yourself a free phone. She's here! Then, give yourself the gift of not checking it. The gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. New and current customers get any phone free. They say we get 300 days of sunshine a year, but we know the whole story. The winter of 2019, mid-Columbia record for most snowfall in a single month. 2004, temperatures reached a low of negative 18 degrees. And 1996, one of the coldest winters in our history. At McCurley, we remember because we were here. Our expert technicians drive these roads too and know the challenges our winters can bring. That's why we're here to make sure your vehicle is ready for whatever weather comes your way so you'll remember this winter for the people you spent it with, not the cold. McCurley, your way home. See all our new vehicle specials like on the new Mazda CX-90 at McCurleyMazda.com during the season of inspiration. Faith Martin, our local bachelorette on The Golden Bachelor. Tonight on Apple Valley News Now, Faith tells all to her friend Stacy Lee. Find out what happened behind the scenes and more. Faith with Stacy tonight at 5 and 6, Apple Valley News Now. Join me tonight at Twigs Beaster and Martini Bar for our Golden Bachelor Watch Party. Only two more episodes of The Golden Bachelor. Get awesome food and drinks and enter to win great prizes from Twigs Bistro and Martini Bar, Active for Life, and Apple Valley News Now. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Thursday morning, everyone. I hope you're enjoying it so far. We do have some light starting to creep in. We also have some fog trying to creep into many of our areas. Specifically, we have a dense fog advisory for the Blue Mountain region. That includes Walla Walla and Pendleton. That's good till 10 a.m. I wouldn't be surprised if we have another one of these Friday morning, tomorrow morning, and Saturday morning as well. So taking a look at our visibility right now, we are under a quarter of a mile of visibility in Walla Walla. That is quite dangerous. Give yourself some extra time and be very careful out on the roads. We have zero visibility in Prosser and four uh, miles of visibility. It is slowly improving as the morning go is going on for Pendleton. Other than that, we're looking pretty good. 70% visibility in the Tri-Cities, but keep an eye out for fog uh, really through all of our areas as we move along in our morning. So on our radar, we were pretty much free and clear. Just a hint of cloud coverage above us. Once we get to our morning hours, though, we're going to see quite a bit of sunshine throughout our areas unless that fog doesn't break. Friday, looking at more sunshine on the way, a little bit of cloud coverage. Then as we get to Saturday, we do expect to see some shower activity coming in. So that looks to be our next shot of seeing a little bit of precipitation. We're, of course, going to keep a close eye on that. But it looks like a pretty good system, at least getting in to the Cascades. So current temperatures, we're above the freezing mark for the Blue Mountain region. And much cooler the more west we go. It's 22 in Ellensburg. So bundle up as you're heading out the door. And please give yourself some extra time. Uh, with that fog out there in some of our areas, but also frosty conditions. You're going to need a little bit of time to get the frost off your car. Besides Sunday, we're going to remain right in the mid to upper 40s for the week ahead. Just a little bit warmer for your Sunday. And the good news about Sunday, that is when our winds are going to be kicking up a little bit, 10 to 20 mile per hour. For right now, we're looking at light winds, and that continues into our next couple of days. So the fog continues. The air quality issues continue. But by Sunday, we will be getting relief, but slower winds back next week. So air quality, we are in the moderate zone for Yakima, Toppenish areas. And I wouldn't be surprised if most of our areas get into the moderate zone, at least today or into tomorrow. Uh, just seeing just kind of a little bit of stagnation out there due to lack of winds. So our highs today, mid to upper 40s for Ellensburg and the Yakima Valley. Over in the lovely uh, mid-Columbia, mid to lower 40s as we're cooler there and mid to lower 40s as well for the Blue Mountain region. 
Seven day forecast for Yakima. We're going to be in the mid to upper 40s mostly for the week ahead, save for Sunday. Uh, good chance of more fog on Saturday. Overnight lows remain below the freezing mark for the week ahead. In the Walla Walla region, fog continues to be an issue through Saturday. As I said, those winds will take care of most of that on Sunday. Overnight lows around the freezing mark. And again, cooler conditions with that fog sticking around. And in the Tri-Cities area, lower 40s through Saturday. So chilly, chilly conditions. So for today, we are looking at fog, Pendleton, Prosser, and Walla Walla areas. Be very careful out there. Expect a frosty car when you're heading out the door. Highs are chilly, mid to lower 40s. Similar conditions tomorrow. Just once that fog lifts, if it does, you'll see plenty of sunshine today. The University of Washington's medical director of the Medicine Sleep Center testified in Washington, D.C. yesterday, urging lawmakers to consider doing away with daylight savings time. Dr. Vishesh Kapoor is a specialist representing the Coalition for Permanent Time, an organization that promotes the health benefits of instituting standard time and advocates, advocates against a permanent daylight savings time. Dr. Kapoor says getting to standard time makes sense with how humans have evolved over time. In standard time, the sun is directly over our heads at noontime. Um, and and, and that's, the, that's how we evolved. Uh, we evolved our activities around the sun. Um, and so when we're in standard time, uh, we're getting light at the appropriate times of the day uh, to keep our circadian rhythms in sync uh, with kind of the daily activities that we've got going on. Dr. Kapoor also says daylight savings time creates a lack of light for mornings, which can lead to safety issues, mood disorders, and decreased sleep. A federal judge has denied a motion to dismiss a lawsuit filed against several social media companies. The suit filed by hundreds of consumer plaintiffs alleges Meta, Snap, and TikTok, and Google addicted teen users, it further alleges the products may have also been associated with other mental health issues. The judge ruled the companies must face at least some of the allegations. T Meta and TikTok did not immediately comment and Snap declined to comment. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, the staff of a Kennewick Starbucks is set to go on a one day strike today in solidarity with the National Starbucks Union. If you missed out on getting a McRib in the past, here's your chance to get one before you miss out again. The McRib returns. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This may look like a holiday shopping showdown, but it's a Nissan sales event to add. Good thing my Rogue has intelligent all-wheel drive. So does my Altima. Now get 2.9% APR financing for 60 months on Rogue, or get a low $3.99 per month lease on Frontier. Better hurry, these offers won't be back in stock. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Things are going really well, Blake. But the arrival of an old flame. Hi, I'm Katie. Could burn it all down. I am happy to see you. This is making me want to go home. What is she doing here? New Bachelor in Paradise, tonight on ABC. Is Medicare planning the last thing on your list? If you're approaching retirement age, contact the professionals at Stan Fortier Insurance Services and get answers to all your Medicare insurance questions. Let Stan Fortier guide you through the Medicare maze. Stan Fortier Insurance Services, bringing clarity to the complex.
something's missing in your morning without a McDonald's breakfast, then try a new bagel sandwich. With fluffy egg, melty cheese, and your choice of a steak patty with grilled onion, or bacon, or sausage, well, those will fill the void deliciously. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. E.T. and Extra, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Extra, Extra. You may have to find someplace else to get your morning cup of joe as the Starbucks union is planning a one day strike at a Kennewick Starbucks store today. Workers United says it's bringing its red cup rebellion to the Starbucks located at 7600 West Clearwater from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. The red cup rebellion is a nationwide strike movement and its goal is to let people know about the heavy workload for employees around the Starbucks red cup day promotion. The union says staffing and scheduling issues are at the core of its walkout. Striking baristas Wednesday were joined by members of other California labor unions, including SAG-AFTRA on the picket line. The vast majority of the company's more than 16,000 coffee shops nationwide have not been affected by the labor action. The Federal Communications Commission adopted a new rule Wednesday intended to help ensure universal access to broadband internet service. Under the regulation, internet service providers, business practices will be scrutinized for digital discrimination based on income or, rage or, or race. The companies will be held liable if their actions impact consumers' access to broadband differently. That includes decisions on matters like network upgrades, pricing, marketing, and maintenance. Advocates hope the threat of FCC action will stop companies from offering inferior service in poorer, less profitable areas. The company uh, most in activists' crosshairs has been AT&T. The provider has been accused of laying new fiber optic cables in richer neighborhoods while neglecting to update, uh, upgrade old networks in high poverty areas. AT&T has disputed those accusations. Coming up, several Democratic representatives and candidates had to be evacuated last night after a demonstration calling for a ceasefire between Israel and, Ham and Hamas devolved into chaos. Top Tree Service is committed to providing the best service and experience possible. From the first call to schedule your estimate, through our final after-service follow-up call ensuring complete satisfaction. Your trees are valuable assets, and we ensure our ISA certified arborists will protect your investment. The health and safety of your trees are our top priority. Call today to schedule a free estimate and experience the top tree service difference for yourself. Hey y'all, this ain't no turkey shootout going on at Legends Casino Hotel in November. It's a roping and a riding cash and car roundup where you could wrangle $10,000 in cash or win a new Volkswagen. Just steer your Legends Rewards card smack dab into your favorite slot machine to earn entries. And then giddy up on over to Legends Casino on Thursdays for your chance to snag 10 grand in cash or a VW Jet on November 23rd or the Atlas Crossboard on November 30th. Round up the posse and we'll see you at Legends Casino Hotel in Toppenish. Dear 2030, we look forward to seeing you. After our 160-point quality assurance inspection, we'll be Toyota certified used vehicles with 7-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranties. Not to honk our own horns, but the best new cars make the best used cars. Yours, Toyota. Get 5.99% APR for up to 60 months on your favorite Toyota certified used models. Find yours at toyotacertified.com. Toyota, let's go places. Now is the time for a new bath from Bathfitter. Every Bathfitter bath is installed quickly, safely, and beautifully with a lifetime warranty. Go from old to new, from worn to wow. The beautiful bath you've always wanted, done right, installed by one expert technician, all in one day. We've been creating moments like these for 35 years, and we're here to help you get started. Book your free virtual or in-home design consultation today. The next generation of streaming is here. 
Introducing Spectrum One Stream with internet, advanced Wi-Fi, mobile, and now TV. With the all new Zumo Stream Box, it's streaming simplified. Get Spectrum One Stream with fast and reliable internet for $49.99 a month, free advanced Wi-Fi, a free unlimited mobile line, and a free Zumo Stream Box when you add Spectrum TV. Go to spectrum.com slash stream, a Spectrum store, or call 833-976-4999. The best way to end your day. That is good TV. Friends, tonight at 11.05. Police and protesters clashed in Washington last night during a demonstration for a ceasefire in the war between Israel and Hamas. And the Senate has passed a stopgap bill designed to keep the government funded through the holidays. And we have a frosty and foggy morning with sunshine on the way. I'll get you prepared by first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. And I'm Jason Valentine. Welcome to Thursday. And we're always thankful when we're able to see light outside. And it's very blue. Our, it's our sky cams. I've noticed that when the light starts to come out, but uh -huh. it's not fully out yet, it looks very blue across it, the it area. It does, it does. Let's take <laughs> see what you guys think. And uh, good uh, Thursday morning. Riley? Lots of blue. Yeah, lots of blue. We do have frost right there on the golf course that you can see mm -hmm. on the left hand of your screen. And uh, expect to have frost on your car. We do have foggy conditions. Dense fog advisory for Walla Walla and Pendleton. That's good till 10 a.m. this morning. We still have about a half a mile to a quarter of a mile of visibility in Walla Walla. So be very, very careful there. We have some spotty uh, fog in other areas. Zero visibility in Prosser. So be careful, give yourself some extra time, and you'll need that extra time to get the frost off your car if your car is outside. So take a look at our current conditions above just above the freezing level for the Blue Mountain region. Other than that, we're a little bit cooler the more west we go. 22 for Ellensburg right now. Bundle up. All right, our highs today are off. We are looking at mid to lower 40s for all of our areas. More sunshine, though, is on the way. Should be a beautiful Thursday ahead. Walla Walla, though, could see that fog sticking around even into our daytime hours. So, AM fog into the weekend, ample sunshine and light winds. All of your first alert weather forecast coming up in about 10 minutes. Now to the nation's capital where crowds calling for a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war clashed with U.S. Capitol Police. The two sides came to blows outside of the Democratic National Committee headquarters last night on Capitol Hill. The melee comes as Israel's ground operation in Gaza presses on and as multinational efforts continue to free Israel hostages that Hamas is holding captive. ABC's Justin Finch with the latest. Chaos on Capitol Hill overnight. U.S. Capitol Police and protesters demanding Israeli forces and Hamas militants cease fire in Gaza, brawling outside the Democratic National Committee headquarters late Wednesday. It was so immediate. As soon as we got out here, it seemed like we weren't welcome. Demonstrators deny Capitol Police reports that the event was illegal and violent. Authorities say at least six officers were injured and at least one protester was arrested for assaulting an officer. Congressman Brad Sherman says he was among a number of congressional leaders forced to evacuate their Democratic headquarters. Neither side, neither the right nor the left, should uh, engage in criminal behavior, attack police or even disrupt other people's meetings. Meantime, in Gaza, Israel now claiming control of the nine building Al Shifa medical complex. Israeli forces saying troops uncover proof Hamas was holed up there, pointing to what they say is Hamas weaponry found in an MRI room. There is a, an AK-47, there are cartridges, am ammo, uh, there are uh, grenades in here, of course uniform. ABC News could not independently verify those claims, and Israel has not yet provided evidence supporting its allegations that Hamas has tunnels under the hospital. An Al-Shifa doctor telling ABC's Matt Gutman 40 patients died after the ICU ran out of oxygen. So we started six days ago with six to three patients in the ICU. Now we have 20 patients only in that. Israel also releasing images it says shows its military delivering medical supplies. 
Sources say the U.S. and Qatar are making headway towards a deal calling for a ceasefire and for Hamas to release at least 50 Israeli hostages in exchange for Israel releasing dozens of jailed Palestinians. But sources say Israel and Hamas differ on how long that ceasefire would last. Senators voted late Wednesday on a bill to avoid a government shutdown at the end of the week. The bill will now head to President Biden's desk for his approval after passing the House on Tuesday. It does not include extra aid for Israel or Ukraine. The continuing resolution will keep the government open through the holidays, giving lawmakers time to work through several contentious funding issues. It is really a very, very good night for the American people. This year, I am happy to announce there will be no government shutdown. As of Friday night, the government is staying open. And because of bipartisan cooperation, we're keeping the government open without any poison pills or harmful cuts to vital programs. The stopgap funding bill will run out on January 19th for priorities, including military construction, transportation, and veterans affairs. The deadline to finance other departments is February 2nd. The two-step deadline is unusual, but House Speaker Mike Johnson says it will keep Congress from trying to pass one big budget bill before the holidays. Jason Valentine returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. A frosty and somewhat foggy morning throughout our areas. We have some sunshine on the way as well. I'll get you prepared by first alert weather forecast coming right up. Plus, as the year comes to a close, we take a look at some of the top pet names for 2023. Some are obvious and others may surprise you. We'll have more when we come back. E.T. and Extra, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. This may look like a holiday shopping showdown, but it's a Nissan sales event to add. Good thing my Rogue has intelligent all-wheel drive. So does my Altima. Now get 2.9% APR financing for 60 months on Rogue, or get a low $3.99 per month lease on Frontier. Better hurry, these offers won't be back in stock. Vegas action is closer than you think. The fun is waiting for you at Knob Hill Casino. Come in and pull up a chair at your choice of Blackjack, Pi Gow, Heads Up Hold'em, or High Card Flush, and play with the friendliest dealers in town. Join our Players Club to take your game to the next level and earn rewards for food, bowling, prizes, and cash. There's always a spot for you at Knob Hill Casino where the locals play. Only two more episodes of The Golden Bachelor. So get your friends and head to Twigs Bistro and Martini Bar tonight as Apple Valley News Now hosts the official Golden Bachelor Watch Party. Get awesome food and drinks and enter to win great prizes as competition for the first Golden Bachelor wraps up. I'm Gary. I'm your first Golden Bachelor. The official Golden Bachelor watch party tonight at Twigs Bistro and Martini Bar. From Twigs Bistro and Martini Bar, Active for Life and Apple Valley News Now. Did you see this? It says most people are going to need long-term care that health insurance and Medicare won't cover. I saw that and it got me thinking, if I need to pay for home modifications or in-home care, I am not prepared. Are you? Not really. I mean, whatever happens, I just want to know that I'll be able to get care and stay in my own home as I age. Right? I want that too. So, uh... Find out how the WA Cares Fund can help. It's time to embrace the beauty of the fall season. And what better way to do that than with an adventure in the great outdoors? Introducing Broadmoor RV, your gateway to an unforgettable fall journey. Our RVs are more than just vehicles. They're your home away from home. This fall, make memories that will last a lifetime. Broadmoor RV, we make camping fun. Saturday on Apple Valley News Now. A prime time showdown as the Washington Huskies take on Oregon State live from Corvallis. The Huskies, the Beavers. Saturday Night Football starts at 4.30 on Apple Valley News Now. A college rivalry game. Michigan, Ohio yeah. State. It's on Thanksgiving, though. You think Joaquin will want us up there? I don't care. Next live, Taika Waititi. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. 
Welcome back everyone. Rover.com is out with its report of the most popular and trending pet names for 2023. Rover.com? Rover.com. Okay. All right. <laughs> and some of them may or may not surprise you. The top male dog names on the list should be familiar ones. Charlie beat out Max as the top Don't most buddy. common male dog name for the first time in a decade. Cooper is the third most popular. The top three female names are common ones too, Luna, Bella, and Daisy. As for the number one trending name for male dogs, Kelsey, inspired <laughs> by Taylor Swift's latest love interest, Travis Kelsey and his brother Jason. The Barbie movie also provides some inspiration. Ken is trending up almost Ooh. 80% for trending female dog names. The U.S. women's national team names influence some with Megan and Rapino and Dunn. Rover is the world's largest online pet marketplace, according to its website. The annual report comes from millions of pet names submitted by its users. And I hope that when we said those names out loud, some of your dogs perked up a little bit. <laughs> My, um, I've known many, many dogs with many of those names that were sure. listed there. We, I ha grew up with a dog named Charlie, and I've met many people with dogs named Charlie. So wow, it's a, it's a popular one. I'm not shocked that it, it beat out. Oddly yeah. enough, I have friends, three of them, who have dogs named Edgar, or oh. did have <laughs> dogs named, named after Edgar Martinez, the oh. DH for the Mariners through their heyday. So I just find it odd that they decided Edgar was a perfect name for their dog. When you go the pet naming route, do you tend to uh, go conventional or stray to the unique? I have names that are set. Like if I get another cat, his or her name will be Buster. Because <laughs> I had Dexter... It just, it seems like a good pet name. Yeah. How about you? I would say more on the unconventional side, but I have an orange cat and his name is Peach and right. I've seen online many other orange cats named Peach. So maybe I'm not as <laughs> unique as I thought I was. <laughs> uh, you're definitely unique. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Quick look outside everyone. It is a chilly, chilly morning. Let me get you ready for all of it in my first alert weather forecast coming up next. And a grand jury is set to meet in New Mexico today to decide on whether or not Alec Baldwin will face charges for a fatal shooting on the set of his movie. That's next on Good Morning Northwest. Need to satisfy your craving for cheesy, smoky, gooey grill perfection? Oh yeah! Taco Time's Cheesy Chipotle Chicken Quesadilla. When you know what you want, anytime is Taco Time. Did you know Ustria Health has three full-time board-certified orthopedic surgeons? Pain in your hands, knees, hips, or shoulders can reduce your quality of life. Orthopedic doctors repair bone, joint, ligament, and tendon injuries, which can relieve debilitating pain. Our surgeons treat tendonitis and carpal tunnel, repair broken bones and fractures, and replace painful, worn-out joints, putting you back in motion. Ustria Health, exceptional rural health care close to home. You know, there's millions of people without the health insurance they need. I get it. You feel like it's too pricey, a headache to deal with, and not worth it. You deserve something better and better. We're on a mission to get everyone high quality health insurance. We have plans with as low as $0 out of pocket premiums, a network of local doctors, and a rewards program for making healthy choices. Nice. That's why we're America's number one marketplace health insurance. So call us or go online now. And better health on a mission for better. Faith Martin, our local bachelorette on The Golden Bachelor. Tonight on Apple Valley News Now, Faith tells all to her friend Stacy Lee. Find out what happened behind the scenes and more. Faith with Stacy tonight at 5 and 6, Apple Valley News Now. Join me tonight at Twigs Beaster and Martini Bar for our Golden Bachelor watch party. Only two more episodes of The Golden Bachelor. Get awesome food and drinks and enter to win great prizes from Twigs Bistro and Martini Bar, Active for Life, and Apple Valley News Now. However you do the holidays, do it together in the Chevy that's right for you. The strong and capable Chevy Silverado, the award-winning Chevy Equinox, or the all-new Chevy Trax. This holiday season, do more together in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get 5250 total value on this Silverado with a Turbomax engine. See your community Chevy dealers. Everybody in the Tri-Cities has been to a hubby's pizza party, right? You haven't? 
Acquire the hubby's habit and book your party today. Delicious, mouth-watering food made with only the freshest ingredients. It's party time at Hubby's Pizza, a hometown favorite for nearly 45 years. Book your party today. Need to satisfy your craving for cheesy, smoky, gooey grill perfection? Oh yeah! Taco Time's Cheesy Chipotle Chicken Quesadilla. When you know what you want, anytime is Taco Time. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Thursday morning, everyone. Hope you're enjoying your morning so far. It is chilly out there. It is stark in some of our areas, very frosty uh, this morning, so give yourself a little extra time to get the frost off your car. We also have a dense fog advisory that is along the blue, so Walla Walla, Pendleton areas, and we have some very thick fog for Walla Walla. That is pretty much for the entire region in the quarter of a mile. That's as small as it gets. So. If you're driving through Walla Walla or you haven't uh, gotten out the door yet, please take care as you're heading out the door. 40% uh, visibility in Pendleton. We have zero visibility in Prosser. So uh, take care as you're heading out the door this morning. And again, frost on your car. So a few things that will slow you down this morning. So right now on our radar, we just have a hint of cloud coverage above us, but we're going to be seeing plenty of sunshine on the way. Should be a beautiful day if the fog breaks. It's not a guarantee for the blues. And as we head into tomorrow, more sunshine. Could see some shower activity though rumble on in as we get into Saturday night. So we're going to keep a close eye on that. That'll be the best chance of shower activity really for the next couple of days at least. So maybe just a hint of shower activity. So as we move into our morning hours, right around that freezing mark for the blues, a little above it, and cooler the more west we go. 22 right now for Ellensburg. So chilly, chilly. Please bundle up as you're heading out the door. Our temperature trend, we are going to remain right uh, pr uh, pretty well below our averages uh, for the next couple of days, mid to upper 40s, except for Sunday, where we're going to see some winds come in and uh, also should break up this fog that we're seeing. We expect the fog to be with us for the next couple of days at least, especially along the blues. So light winds and those light winds will continue, as I said, until Sunday. We'll see quite a spike. Uh, looks like 10 to 20 mile per hour winds expected for Sunday. Then we'll get back to light winds in our next work week. And don't forget, Thanksgiving is a week away from today. Air quality, we're in the moderate zone for Yakima, Toppenish, and really most of our cities have been kind of going between good and moderate as we see this uh, light winds and kind of stagnant air continue. So it could be getting a little bit worse before it gets better. So take a look at our highs today. We are in the mid to upper 40s for the Yakima Valley, 46 for Ellensburg, lower to mid 40s for the mid Columbia as uh, Tri-Cities, Hanford, Connell, very chilly today. 43 as well for Walla Walla, 46 for Pendleton. Seven day forecast and do get ready for again, mid to upper 40s for the week ahead, save for Sunday. Fog looks to be really throughout our area Saturday morning and overnight lows are going to be just below the freezing mark for the week ahead. In the Walla Walla region, we're gonna be seeing that fog continue through Saturday and then warmer conditions and mostly nicer conditions as we head into our next work week. Overnight lows around that freezing mark. In Tri-Cities area, lower 40s through Saturday. Bit of a spike on that Sunday. And then we'll be kind of settling into a mid-40s groove next week. So today, highs mid to lower 40s. Keep an eye out for fog, dense fog advisory, Pendleton, Walla Walla, till 10 a.m. this morning. Also, get ready for plenty of sunshine throughout our areas. Today, a grand jury in New Mexico is expected to meet to decide on charging actor Alec Baldwin in the Rust movie shooting case. If the grand jury convenes, they will listen to the prosecutor and witnesses and then vote in secret on whether they believe enough as evidence exists to charge Baldwin with a crime. In April, the actor's previous involuntary manslaughter charges were dropped. If indicted, the prosecutor could have a summons issued by the court or ask the court for an arrest warrant. Baldwin's name was also excluded from the 40-name witness list in the Hannah Gutierrez-Reed case. 
She was the armorer for the Western when Helena Hutchins, the film cinematographer, was shot and killed by a prop gun in 2021. Both sides can always amend their witness list, but I think the fact that his name isn't on there is, uh, is, is a, they're uh, sending us a message that Alec Baldwin most likely is going to be uh, facing criminal charges. Baldwin's name could be added to the witness list if he does not get recharged. Jimmy Kimmel is returning to host the Academy Awards again. It will be the late night host's fourth time at the helm of the prestigious Cinematic Awards. He served as the host of this year's ceremony back in March and in 2017 and 2018. Not only is Kimmel returning, but so is his wife. Molly McGurney is back for a second year in a row to serve as an executive producer for the show. The Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences, the body that puts on the Oscars, made the announcements Wednesday. In a news release, Kimmel joked he always dreamed of hosting the Oscars exactly four times. The Oscars will be given out on March 10th, 2024. We'll be right back with the morning sprint and a final check on your forecast, but first a look at what's ahead on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, Panic in Paradise. Our boat is sinking. The death of an American tourist now under investigation after a Colorado woman died in a Bahamas boating accident. Everybody's freaking out. You're watching the moment this double-decker ferry Tuesday morning with more than 100 people en route to the popular Blue Lagoon Island began taking on water. <laughs> Kelly Shizzle survived the sinking recording this video showing the boat leaning to one side. And this morning, she's telling her story to GMA. I was on the side that started to sink. So that's when we realized, oh, this probably isn't good. And then a, a crew member ran up the stairs to the top level and grabbed herself a life jacket. And she was crying and freaking out. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll have the very latest on the investigation into why the ferry sank. With your GMA First Look, I'm Eva Pilgrim, ABC News, New York. My mom's Alzheimer's never changed how much we love her, but it did change her. She developed agitation that may happen with dementia due to Alzheimer's disease. She started yelling, pacing around, kept repeating the same questions. She got agitated often, so we asked her doctor for help. Rick Zolti is the only FDA-approved medication proven to reduce agitation symptoms that may happen with dementia due to Alzheimer's disease. Rick Zolti can cause serious side effects. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke. Report fever, stiff muscles, and confusion, which can be life-threatening, or uncontrolled muscle movements, which may be permanent. High blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death. Weight gain, increased cholesterol, low white blood cells, unusual urges, dizziness on standing, falls, seizures, trouble swallowing or sleepiness may occur. Take action for your loved one. Ask their doctor about Rick Zulte. Now, the morning sprint. Time right now is 6.52. We're going to get to your first alert forecast in just a moment, but we begin with a look at this morning's top stories. Parents continue to voice their concerns about how bullying complaints are being handled in the West Valley School District. Tuesday night was the first regular board meeting since, uh, since outgoing school board member Mike Meyer called for the district to do more. He says that bullying has become ingrained in the district. Meyer says part of the problem is their hands are tied when it comes to taking bullying cases into the juvenile justice system because of legislative changes in recent years. A bus on its way from Yakima to Seattle burst into flames on I-90. This video was recorded on Tuesday afternoon where a charter bus with 17 people from Yakima caught fire near Snoqualmie Pass. All of the passengers escaped safely, even managing to get off the bus with their luggage in hand before the entire bus caught fire, leaving a burnt, melted shell behind. No word yet on what caused the fire. KITCOM, also known as Kittitas County 911, says its outdated equipment could make responding to an emergency difficult in parts of the county. Officials say the biggest challenge they're facing is radio signal dead zones, affecting response time and rescue operations. With some of their equipment more than 30 years old, 
Kit Common, the Kittitas County Board of Commissioners is looking to find a sustainable funding solution. They're looking for the public to bring their input at a future meeting. Dozens of families in East Sela living near the Yakima Training Center are still dealing with high levels of forever chemicals. The long-term cleanup is expected to take decades, but point-of-entry treatment systems are now being installed to filter out the PFAS and allow residents to use water from their taps again. So far, 72 homes have qualified to receive the free filters after testing for PFAS above the EPA Lifetime Health Advisory of 70 parts per trillion. State officials estimate the number of people in Washington without permanent housing rose between 2022 and 2023. Now they're getting ready to gather data for 2024. The point in time count happens once every year in January. Benton County's count is on January 25th. The Department of Human Services and volunteers go out into the community to get a physical count of how many people are experiencing homelessness. The system gives officials some measurable data to see if social programs are effective. For example, outside King County, the state counted 5,224 people without shelter in Washington last year, a bit lower than the count in 2020, right before the pandemic began. In 2023, that number went up to 6,316. Last January, the point in time count revealed 37 people living in Benton County without shelter and 89 people experiencing homelessness, but able to find space in an emergency shelter or transitional housing. Well, you may have to find some place else to get your morning cup of joe as a one day strike is planned at a Kennewick Starbucks store today. Workers United says it is bringing its Red Cup Rebellion to the Starbucks located at 7600 West Clearwater from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. The Red Cup Rebellion is a nationwide strike movement with a goal to protest the heavy workload for employees during the Star Starbucks Red Cup prom Day promotion. The union says staffing and scheduling issues are at the core of its walkout. Good Thursday morning, everyone. It is frosty and it is chilly out there. Please bundle up as you're heading out the door. We do have plenty of sunshine on the way today. Should be a beautiful, beautiful day. We do have a dense fog advisory. That is good uh, in the blues, Walla Walla and Pendleton. And that's good until 10 a.m. this morning. So heavy fog throughout those areas. Right now, fog, we have a quarter of a mile visibility in Walla Walla. 40% in Pendleton, zero in Prosser. So give yourself a little extra time this morning. There's quite a lot of fog out there and it is going to continue tomorrow morning and into Saturday morning as well. So we do have wind though coming by Sunday, which should blow all of that out. We have mostly clear skies above us, maybe a few clouds in there, but we're going to see plenty of sunshine today. Uh, if that fog burns off, that is a question for Walla Walla. That fog could stick with us throughout your day. So current temperatures, whoo, we are chilly. We're right above the freezing level for the blues. Cooler, well above the freezing level, 21 in Ellensburg. So uh, get on those coats as you're heading out the door. So winds taking a break. They're going to take a break tomorrow and Saturday. Hence, more foggy conditions, especially Walla Walla, Pendleton areas. So that should continue for the next couple of days at least. Also, air quality right around the moderate zone right now for Yakima, Toppenish. I wouldn't be surprised to see most of our cities get to the moderate zone at some point in the next three days due to uh, almost stagnant air with no uh, wind coming in. But we do expect that wind to come in on Saturday. All right, let's take a look at our highs. Mid to upper 40s, Ellensburg, Yakima, Toppenish. Over in the mid-Columbia, mid to lower 40s as we're starting to cool down across the board and mid to lower 40s as well in the Blue Mountain region. So do get ready for, again, frosty conditions this morning, and it's going to stay chilly for the next couple of days. Riley. Thanks for waking up with us and watching Good Morning Northwest. GMA is next.